Alright, so on today's episode, uh, we're going to be doing a uh, eight accessory belt tensioner here on this 1.8T on Ian's car. So, uh, for us to do this, we are going to have to get access to these three bolts and the belt. So, let's get to work. This is Michelle's Garage. using today uh, URO uh, part uh, part number 06A903315 E uh, this is the actual full tensioner with uh, pulley very very important you guys when you guys get one of these make sure you get a new pulley uh, the belts tend to dig into them cause them to get really really shiny and tend to have a failing bearing so make sure when you replace your tensioner replace it as a complete item not as a partial setup all right so the tools needed, 16 millimeter wrench and a 13 uh, socket. Make sure you carry two different extensions depending on your car setup. Uh, just because of uh, space is very limited here underneath. Uh, that's why I always carry multiple extensions just to see if I can find a better option that will work for us. Um, so you need to remove the belt. So with your 16 uh, wrench, you're gonna grab it and you're gonna pull um, back actually. towards you this should give you enough slack to pull the belt out just like that and if you're lucky you leave the belt alone if it doesn't fall, um, you'll be able to just unbolt these three bolts here, uh, put the new tensioner, tensioner on, and get the belt back on. Um, if not, we'll show you guys how to route it. So this is uh, Ian's pulley here, and you guys can actually hear the bearing actually starting to fail. Um, this thing, when it's under load, it makes a really, really loud um, squeaky noise. So we know that this is pretty much failing. Um, so we're going to replace it again. Um, 313 bolts. There is a little bracket. You guys got to see this one right here. Now this bracket is very important for you guys. Make sure this sits on the front, not in between. It's not sandwiched. It's, it's actually the top layer uh, bracket, just like this, guys. So it should sit like this on the front. Um, some people like to put it back here and it's the wrong way, wrong, wrong place. It has to sit up in front just like that. And that's how you uh, get this on there. Uh, this already has uh, preload on it. So, sorry, like that. <laughs> this has already been preloaded so you'll notice that there's a pin right here. This pin is holding the tension for you. So when we mount this back in place, do not remove the pin until the belt is all routed correctly. Um, so um, you guys will see that the, this uh, coolant return line, this is actually the, uh, the feed line, I'm sorry, this is actually the coolant feed line to the turbo. Um, this feed line, just be careful guys, this is an old line, so if you guys don't replace these, uh, be careful not yanking them because then you'll cause a leak. Um, as for you can see here, there's been a leak. <laughs> Um, so you're going to get the bracket here and make sure again that this bracket sits on the top. The, this is what actually holds that coolant feed line in place and you're going to kind of do it all by hand. And just feed all three bolts here. So 
So these three bolts here are going to stay like that. And then you'll see again um, the belt, the tensioner is already, um, I'm about to hit the motor mount, but it's fine because again it's, it's been preloaded for us. So we're going to get that belt routed back on here. Let's see here. Oh, and it hit the ground. Alright, so how we route this is um, you go down the crank uh, under the power steering, then you go to the left to the power steering, over to the right, the left of the AC, and then back to the right of the alternator and down. Uh, that is your routing. So uh, it's kind of like it goes left, right, left, right, left. Just like that. Uh, very, very simple to route the belt on these. Um, once you have the, the three bolts started, uh, get out your torque specs and torque this down to your you know manufacturer specs and let go of the tensioner. Alright, so with the new tensioner installed and the belt routed, um, this tensioner uses 17 instead of a 16 wrench to break it loose so remember that uh, your original um, tensioner is a 16 and this new uh, URO tensioner that we're using is a 17 to break it loose but now that the belt is on um, we torque spec the, the tensioner all into the car now we're going to turn the car on and listen for any new noises or old noises so that grinding noise is now gone we just have a really, really loud, squeaky, like churning uh, noise. 100% gone now. So the car is back and sounding really, really good again. Um, if you guys don't remember this car, this is the car that we fully built. Uh, we did all the internals, the head work. Pretty much did everything we can do imaginable to build it for high horsepower. Um, he's still working on his little baby turbo, his little KO4 in there, uh, but he's saving up to get a big old, a big old husky turbo. So, um, but that's it, though, guys. That's the current DIY on how to replace your accessory belt tensioner uh, with belt routing. Uh, besides that, though, if you guys have any other questions, please comment down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe and the notification bell if you guys want to know more about what's going on. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in everybody at Pinchales Garage. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.